Welcome back to Mid Morning. We're talking more about the importance of remembering the events of 9-11 and honoring our fallen heroes. Joining us now to tell us more is retired U.S. Air Force Colonel Mark Rowland and Lexington Fire Lieutenant Chris McFarlane. Welcome. Thank you for being here today. Thank Thanks you. for having us. No matter how much time goes by, this day doesn't get any easier. What does this day mean to both of you? Go ahead, sir. Um, to me, it's a, it's a day to uh, remember, number one, the sacrifice of of all those firefighters and, and uh, first responders, uh, particularly in New York City at the Twin Towers, um, to remember the folks at the Pentagon and the field in Shanksville, Pennsylvania, but, but also to remember um, all those who have raised their right hand since that day to, to serve this country and, and to protect us uh, and, and prevent that terrorism from coming back to our shores. After after that those events, a lot of people signed up. That includes your son. Uh, yes, uh, I did. He was um, 13 years old. Uh, we were on our way to drop him off at school, and and we heard what happened on the radio, um, and I think that had a profound impact on him. Um, so uh, joined the Air Force, um, and then uh, paid the ultimate sacrifice in Afghanistan in August of 2015. Firefighters today, what are you were talking about the climb, and you've also got the, the list of names y'all are reading out. So it's important for us to remember. If a lot of the guys are so young that uh, they're they're still looking to to fill that that void of what happened to us and how to give back. I was in college when this happened, and never even had a fire truck as a kid. And right after that, I joined a volunteer department. Got on a paid department uh, 20 years ago, been doing it ever since. I think a lot of police and firefighters have fell into that where we've had, we had a sense of terror and a sense of fear that day, and that left a kind of a hole in a lot of people to try to fill. And some of us use uh, events like today to remember that, and a lot of us went a step further and said, I want to be a first responder and uh, try to never forget that. And I think 20 years from now, we'll still have young men and women join either the military or the fire department, police department, in hopes that they don't forget what happened that day. I'm so sorry for your loss. What Thank are you. the ways that we can honor people like your son who have stepped up to serve? I think, I think um, just remembering uh, and remembering their sacrifice. Uh, we have a saying that a person dies twice, the first time when they take their last breath, and the last time when their name is no longer spoken. So speak their names. Um, and, and I think from, from our standpoint, um, <clears throat> as surviving family members, and I've met many, many uh, Gold Star families, many uh, surviving family members, um, ask us to tell you about them. And, and that is, is probably the, the best thing and the most important thing you can do is allow us to talk. Very important. Thank you all for coming in and talking to us. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. Appreciate it.